No. Ya lo dormí. Eso ahí. <ríe> Pelló la oveja.
ustedes no me vieron. Qué bueno. Qué bueno. Caballo solo. Sí. Oye, pero ¿por dónde coño me está dando toda la vuelta? No. Oh, la caída. Estoy en la mal. mal hice fui por el camino del correcto no voy a tener que voy a tener que pedir el control no Roger. lo hice mal sorry sorry amigos lo hice mal Established a sick bay on the new medical platform. Staff who come back with wounds, diseases, or PTSD can be treated there. If we need any other platforms, feel free to issue the construction order from your iDroid. Good. We captured it alive. Excelente. Ah, ok, acá tengo para personalizar. el eslogan oh, no. emblema okay. este era así fuente
Iniciales. Eh, tamaño de la letra. Eh, sí. Acá. Excelente. Vamos a ver. Excelente. El fondo verde no me parece a... a ver, este... El color de marco. Está... Negro puede ser, sí. El color de base. A ver, este color. Está rojo. está sí que no se actualizó uh, la puta no se guardó se muere no fondo no. color habíamos elegido esta no esta Excelente. Le puedo personalizar el control.
game. Ahora tenemos más información aquí, a ver. Snake, do you remember Amanda? Yeah, I do. The revolution was a success. Somoza resigned. And Nicaragua has a new government. Amanda's really working hard for her country to be reborn. Good for them. She says she wishes Chico could be there. That revolution was the dream. For Amanda. For Chico. And their father. That chopper was no place for Chico to die. I'd like to at least think history will remember his part in the revolution. When you pick up a gun, there's always a chance you'll die for nothing. He knew that as well as the rest. Now that he's gone, it's up to the rest of us to decide what it was all worth. If we don't, there's nothing to prove that Chico ever lived at all. Where is Mark on the world? Amanda told us that Strangelove contacted her after the revolutionaries came to power in Nicaragua. Strangelove? The AI researcher from Mother Base? I remember her. We'd lost touch with her. Till Amanda heard from her out of the blue. She told Amanda she wanted to salvage Peace Walker's dry parts, or something from the bottom of Lake Nicaragua. Amanda passed the request on to her friend to the new administration. She's a national hero now, after all. So Strangelove got a Soviet military aircraft to transport something to somewhere. But apparently the cargo wasn't big enough to have been Peace Walker itself. So what was it? Who knows? We recovered Peace Walker's nuclear warhead ourselves nine years ago. What could Strangelove have been after? Amanda said she didn't mention what her reason was or where she was headed. Nicaragua is a socialist state now. With Amanda vouching for her, the government didn't feel the need to concern itself with the details. All Strangelove told Amanda was that she was going to continue her research, and that the rest was a secret. Right before the attack, Huey was in the control tower to prepare for the inspectors. He was with them when it all went down. The control tower collapsed with the rest of its strut. His body was never recovered. But he was the one who met the inspection party when they arrived. And he was the one who showed the nuclear inspectors to the tower. You remember the way it went. First he recommends we agree to the inspection. Then he gives them the okay without our permission. All the time acting as if he was doing us a favor. On top of that, he even had the guards disarmed that day. It would send the wrong message, he said. Whatever the angle, it all leads back to Huey. I curse my own stupidity for not realizing sooner. Huey escaped with that unit by chopper. I've been hunting him for nine long years. The other reason I was operating around Afghanistan was to dig up his location. Huey's in Afghanistan? Yes. And I have a good idea where. Now we just wait for the right moment. This time, we'll be the ones using him. He's going to tell us who our guests really were that used a fake nuclear inspection to blast our home into the ocean. Right before the attack, Huey was in the control tower to prepare for the inspectors. He was with them when it all went down. The control tower collapsed with the rest of its strut. His body was never recovered. But he was the one who met the inspection party when they arrived. And he was the one who showed the nuclear inspectors to the tower. You remember the way it went. First he recommends we agree to the inspection. Then he gives them the okay without our permission. All the time acting as if he was doing us a favor. On top of that, he even had the guards disarmed that day. It would send the wrong message, he said. Whatever the angle, it all leads back to Huey. I curse my own stupidity for not realizing sooner. Huey escaped with that unit by chopper. I've been hunting him for nine long years. The other reason... Sí, la escuché ya. Bueno, rezamos para la...
join you on missions. But you know, he gets uh, lonely easily. You should come visit him every once in a while. No, 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 voy a ver. Buena pregunta. No me lo dijiste, perrito. Welcome back, boss.
pipes, huh? They're strong enough. Could make for a nice shortcut. Chao. <risa> Ay, no, por acá no era. <risa> Qué bueno. Mira, más este es frito, tío. ¿Cuándo de coño es eso? Eh? Ya, viento por ahí, pues. <risa> 